Well, good morning, YouTube. This is Scott, your Hoosier Marshal, here from Northeast Indiana on a rainy Saturday morning. The temperature is warm, but it's wet. Sharp thing Saturday. Today, I thought I would talk about the most meaningful knife that I have. But uh, before that, little uh, black coffee in my Hoosier Marshall mug. And I'm going to be firing up another one of these general grants that were gifted to me by Paul Gilson this morning. <clears throat> it's uh, a lot easier to make a video smoking a cigar fighting with your pipe and trying to get it lit but I don't smoke cigars too often and besides making a Saturday morning video a sharp thing Saturday video I want to do a channel shout out if uh, you're not subscribed to Tim's School of Pipes, you need to check out his channel, and if you like it, definitely subscribe. He had a really good video. I don't know if he put it out last night or this morning. I saw it this morning. <clears throat> Talking about uh, how he wants to run his channel. So, give him a look. I think if you're watching my channel, you'll probably enjoy his channel, at least the video that I just watched. So give him a look. So today, for Sharp Things Saturday, I want to talk about a little knife that my father gave me for Christmas, and I had to be 1983 or 1984. I was still in high school. Um, <coughs> I graduated in 1985, so I know it wasn't that year. And uh, I've never carried it, never done anything with it, but I never lost it, never gave it away. Because I remember at the time he gave it to me for Christmas, I was thinking I, I'll never carry a knife like that. I want a folding knife or a uh, lock blade knife or something fancy. And I just put it away and never used it. And uh, it still looks brand new. This little buck knife. I don't know the model of it. Looks brand new. I don't have the box it came in anymore. Try and get it open. There you go. That's it. Never, ever been used. But I was wise enough to know that my father gave it to me and I should hold on to it all these years. And uh, I, I just pulled it out this morning thinking about how valuable this knife now is to me. I don't know what it's worth. I don't know what my dad paid for it when he bought it. <clears throat> He's gone now. Uh, can't ask him, and he probably wouldn't remember anyway. But what's significant about this knife, other than the fact that my dad gave it to me, was that my dad was a pipe smoker. I've talked about that before. He smoked half and half. That's the only thing I, I've, I ever remember him smoking. And uh, I have tried half and half several times, and I just don't like it. <laughs> I want to like it because my dad did, but I just can't do it. I'm sure in the future I'll buy some more because like everyone says, you know, if you don't like a blend, put it away, come back to it later, and uh, maybe your palate has changed. But uh, I just remember my dad, these two blades of his knife, I don't know that he ever used it. This little blade right here is what he reamed his pipe with. And I can still picture him sitting in his chair with this blade reaming his pipe. 
And uh, I'm not going to do that. And now it's at the point I, all these years, I've never carried this knife. <clears throat> I'm now I'm, I'm debating, should I just throw it in my pocket as kind of a charm, a reminder of my father, or should I leave it on the shelf where it was? So I know it's safe. I, I'm not sure yet, but I'll figure that out in time. So we'll make the Freedom, or Freedom Friday, yeah, right, Sharp Thing Saturday video kind of short. I just wanted to make sure to show you the little buck knife and talk about it because I think it's worth mentioning. And uh, it looks like Mother Nature is really unleashing her wrath on most of the country. I just watched the, the weather. Um, and it's going to be that way for a few days. So um, <clears throat> enjoy what you can. Have fun. Enjoy your weekend. Until my next video, this is Scott, your Hoosier Marshal, saying make sure you take the time to tell those you love what they really mean to you because you never know when it just might be too late. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for watching.